Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Razan, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about our unit of inquiry for grade five. During this video, we're going to see what unit of inquiry means, what's involved in the unit of inquiry, what content we're going to be covering, and how you as learners are going to be at the end of the year. Let's get started. Our unit of inquiry is going to have both science and social studies. We're going to be integrating between those two subjects, meaning we're going to be talk taking both social studies and science, depending on the unit and what topics we'll be discussing. Now I wanna talk about both social studies and science and what both of them are going to have. We're going to be covering six units this year. Our units are going to be either social studies or either science. We're going to be focusing on many concepts that we're going to inquire about to fully understand the main idea. What I mean by this is that each different unit is going to have one big main idea. This idea will have many topics connected to it, and we're going to inquire about each different topic to connect it to the main idea. While we're inquiring and researching and thinking about all these different topics, we're going to have many developments in our skills. We're going to see how the skills we already possess are going to be more enhanced, and we're going to be using them more in our unit of inquiry. We're going to be researching, communicating, thinking. We're going to be contacting different members of the community, seeing different roles in the community. And we're also going to look at ourselves and see how our learning process is going to evolve more and more as each unit goes on. I'm now going to tell you about each unit. Here we have the six units that we're going to be covering. We have where we are in place and time, how we organize ourselves, how we express ourselves, how the world works, sharing the planet, and who we are. These six units are going to cover all the information that we're going to talk about in grade five. Where we are in place and time is going to be focusing on ancient civilizations. We're going to dig deep into the past and see different civilizations, their characteristics, the legacies of these civilizations, and what impact they have in our present day. We're going to be inquiring into different systems in our economy. We're going to see how these systems work. We're going to see how we can organize these systems to help better our lives in our next unit. After that, we have how we express ourselves. In this unit, we're going to see how different ideas can be expressed through different ways. We have expression through art, music, and many different types of expression that we're going to tackle during this unit. Sharing the planet will involve talking about distribution of goods in communities. What we mean in this unit is that we're going to be talking about different services, how we can benefit from these services, the different returns, and see exactly how we distrib distribute different things around the world. How the world works. This unit is going to be talking about changes in the Earth's structure, different properties of Earth, different physical properties that we are witnessing, and we're going to see how that affects us in our daily lives. Our last unit is who we are. This unit is going to be talking about different changes in our lives. It's going to be talking about different physical, social, emotional changes that every single person is facing. And we're going to use this information to help better ourselves in our everyday lives. While we're talking about each unit, we're going to be talking also about how we are developing ourselves. What I mean by this is when I say we're going to inquire into different things, this shows me that you are all going to use your knowledge and become inquirers. You're going to be thinkers, which means you're going to be using your thinking skills to think outside the box, be more open-minded, communicate your ideas and thoughts, and then also be risk takers. Risk takers mean you're going to be doing things that you might not think you could have done before. So it's always nice to be open-minded and take different risks in our learning process. This will allow for a more balanced overall understanding. You are going to be more principled in your way of thinking. When we talk about different topics, you're going to show how your caring attribute is going to come out. 
And all of this is going to be reflected through different reflections throughout the unit. So all of these attributes are going to be present in your learning process throughout the year. I can't wait to start this year with you, and I can't wait to dig deeper into each different unit that we've talked about. Thank you very much for listening to this video, and I can't wait to see you to start Unit 1. Thank you, everyone.